Okay then, part two. If you've seen part one, you'll know the formula now. If you haven't, and you just dropped into this accidentally, this is what we're going to do. A bit of candy floss for the um, to keep the thing going, because not a lot happening in the news today, other than, what's his name? Oh, I can't remember his name. What's his name now? I'm... Schofield, that's it, Schofield. Other than that, not a lot's happening. If anything happens, I'll be covering it later. So what I thought I'd do, I thought I'd have one against another. Who do you like, who do you not like? And for this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to go Paddy McGuinness and Stephen, is it Merchant? I think it's Merchant, um, old Ricky Gervais' cohort. Who do you like, ladies and gents? Any of them? One of them? None of them? If you've seen one of my very early videos, and it was very early now, again, when it wasn't very comfortable on here, probably six, seven days in, there's one I particularly don't like. But there's one I do. We've not covered this person yet. Let's, who should we go for first? I'm not going to tell you whether I like them or not. Let me tell you something about them first. Who will we go for first? So what we'll do, we'll go for Paddy McGuinness. Let's put this down in a minute so I'm not at the bottom of the screen. Paddy McGuinness. Right. Paddy McGuinness. Absolutely first class. First class. When I say first class, let me just clarify that. Everything I like about Paddy McGuinness, you can write on the back of a first class stamp. I think he's absolutely crap. And he's one of those people that I've had a pop at earlier, as I say... It was an him and a Judy Love thing. Go and have a watch of it. I wasn't very good in here, but I still stand by everything I've said. I think he's crap. I think he's another one of them guys that's stealing a living. He's on our screens every minute of every day. Wait a minute, we've got another thing here. You could be asking questions about sport. I'll do that. You could be driving and testing cars. I'll do that. You could be on a dating show. I'll do that. What else could you be on? I don't want to say you could talk about your children because he's done that and that's awful. I shouldn't say that, so I'm not going to say that. But everything. He's at the opening of an envelope. He's just unbelievable. I don't like him. I don't find him funny. Now, let me tell you what I liked him in. What did I like him in? Wrong glasses, Dave. Another quick costume change. I liked him in Phoenix Nights. I liked him in Max and Paddy's Road Trip. I liked him in them because Peter Kay was in them. And he works okay with Peter Kay. He's a mate of Peter Kay's. He did that thick, stupid uh, Northern Brook, the Bolton accent, and went over the top with it, which he's carried on into his shows. That's all he ever does. And it suited him, and he was okay. But as I say, the writing was good. I've not liked him anything else. He's done talk sport, not talk sport, question sport. He's tanked, and rightly so. Why would you get rid of old Sue, someone that knows what she's doing, and bring that? I know it's a jodrell in. I don't want to say jodrell. I shouldn't be saying that. But why would you bring him in? I don't get it at all. I wrote a letter to them both anyway, him and Judy Love, and what I've said is, I believe they're going to tour next year in a, a comedy double act, and I've said, right, this is what I want you to do. I want you to let me know the night, the night, I want this specific night, when you decide you're both going to be funny for one joke, when you've both got a joke, that'll make me laugh. But I want you to let me know which night it'll be, and I want you to both do it at the start of the show. So I'm going to give you a minute and a half a piece, I want you both to make me laugh, and then I'll be off into the pub. I'll tell you what, if anybody thinks Paddy McGuinness is funny, I'll tell you this. I said it in the early thing weeks ago. I'll tell you what you want to do. Go on to the old YouTube, right? You're on it now. Go on to YouTube. Type in Paddy McGuinness performance at the Royal Variety Show. He did it for Queen years ago. I'll tell you what. There's been some shows where you, you can see and she, she thinks, what am I doing here? I don't like it here. I'd rather not be here. And there's some where she gets sort of almost into it. There's one show I seen where she thought, if somebody comes in now and shoots me, I'll feel better than I do now. That was the show. And he was the act that was on at the time. It was absolutely awful. It's the worst comedic performance I've ever seen on a Royal Variety show. I don't watch many of them anymore, but I used to watch it a lot one time. It's absolutely painful. It's painful with a capital P and a capital A-I-N-F-U-L. It's just painful. It's horrible. So him, I'm binning. I'm not having him at all. Stephen Merchant, on the other hand, I like him. He's funny. He's naturally funny. He looks funny because he's about six foot seventeen. That helps him. But then again, with that, what can I say? That awkward, an awful start to life. Because I mean, he does look unusual. He's made the most of it. He's wrote what's he wrote? The Office and extras with Ricky Gervais. Comedy gold. Absolutely brilliant. He's done a few other bits and pieces on the telly. He did that. What's he did the other week? Wait a minute. The Outlaws. The other, the other week. Last year, year before, BBC. Nothing brilliant about it. Just gentle humour. But it was good. Good family entertainment, it was different, isn't it? The young lady, the beautiful young lady from Paul Dark, he had her in there playing a totally kind of different different kind of part. She was great. He managed to tempt Christopher Walken over, you know, top American film star in his 80s, I think he may have been. It was different, it was good. 
And I'll tell you folks, for those that don't really know him very, very well, I bet many of you haven't seen this. I like on here now and again to mention a good show or a good act or a good song or a good film. He did something in America about 10, maybe even 20 years ago now. Was it the early 90s? No, I don't think it was that long. Ten, ten, anyway, 10, 20 years ago, called Hello Ladies. Um, it only lasted one series. I thought it lasted two. I've looked at it today. It lasted one series, probably six, eight, nine episodes. It was for American TV on HBO. It was really good. It was funny. It was really different. And I enjoyed it. If you get the chance, go and watch it. I think you'll, I think you'll find it fun. It's different. It's good. Um, but Stephen Merchant, I like you. You're good. You're funny. I'll watch you. Whatever you do, I'll watch you. And you know why I will? Because it'll be good. You know what you're doing. You deserve what you earn. You're not robbing a living, unlike my mate Paddy, who's got his hand out all the time and he's earning, what, what, what did she say again, Kim Woodburn? Shed loads of cash. Anyway, if you agree, let me know. If you don't, again, let me know. I think there'll be more don't agree. I think lots of people like old Paddy. Why, I don't know. But I think they do.